Hello everyone, my name is Samuel John Montoya, and I am here to tell you all out there uh, who are Christians and who aren't Christians that living with God, the Lord Most High, is supposed to be a joyful experience with Him. Even though the world is in turmoil, even though there are trials and tribulations upon this present earth, uh, people were meant to experience joy and joy to the full. And they can only experience joy to the full if they have the Lord in them. And that comes by receiving the love of the truth, which is God in the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you believe that God was in the Lord Jesus Christ when he was walking upon this present earth in his time times, then you will experience fullness of joy. These are hard times that we're in, but we need to be strong in these times because our freedom needs to be more important than our captivities and our times of oppressions and are at our times of uh, soul slavery, let's say. Certain Christians of you out there may feel like Lot living in a what well, in what looks like a sinful laden city or cities and you want to see God move upon your cities. So I want to tell all of you certain Christians who feel like Lot in these times that, that first of all, you need to abide in the Lord Jesus Christ always and that you need to do the last things that the Lord has told you to do and however he has spoken to you, whether through people, whether through the Bible, whether by the Holy Spirit speaking to you on the inside, um, and the prophecies that have been given to you in churches and in wherever or in wherever, because all Christians are needed out there. We are we all make the body of Christ and Christ is magnified through all of us, and each of us has a part to play in this time in history. I just want to say in my in my personal experiences, I've been a downcast because of people not wanting to hear God's words, no matter what words of God they are. Because either they hate God or the things that they're dealing with that are really hard and are really um, maybe tormenting or sickening or things in their life that they're dealing with feel dead <clears throat> and lack of hope, a lot of hope and a lot of joy or they're experiencing no hope or no joy at all we must speak the words of God even when it is hard we must speak the words of God to everyone the Lord guides us to and in my personal experiences I know who to speak to at times for example I know that those who are humble people will receive God's words easily. Those who are prideful to hear God's words are harder to talk with about God, sometimes at all, and sometimes what we're desiring for them that is good, but they have a hard time receiving it because of the situations they're in and the circumstances that they're experiencing. 
So I was reading in let's see if I never mind. Um, in the book of Isaiah, there are verses that talk about living in an oppressed place, a barren place, a deserty place, a wilderness place, and the Lord wants fruition. He wants life. He wants abundance of flourishing. He wants joy. He wants rivers of life flowing throughout an area, but most importantly, flowing within a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. I feel within myself that America is going through a lot of hard times. The believers in the Lord Jesus Christ are going through a lot of hard times. The unbelievers are going through a lot of hard times. I feel that the devil wants people to stay in miseries, to stay in oppressions, to stay in sicknesses, to die off, to go to hell, or to go to heaven, and for them not to do all that the Lord wants them to do, and really anything at all. The devil doesn't want any activity from of God happening in areas and I feel that at times we may feel persecuted in different ways like either through the internet either through close friends that we thought were friends and we experienced betrayals and when we follow Christ Stepping out of our comfort zones, people accuse us, people nag, may nag at us, people may, um, may mock us. But it so happens that before Easter, before the Lord's Easter, before he was resurrected from the grave, he experienced sufferings that people these days are experiencing. He experienced mockings. He experienced beatings. He experienced oppressions. He experienced miseries. He experienced sorrows. And I feel that those words resonate these days. And I just want to tell all of you, everyone out there, that as you follow the Lord Jesus Christ, you will have miseries in your life that you need to give to God because God can take the miseries for you through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ can take upon your depressions. The Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ can take on your anxieties. The Lord Jesus Christ can take on your sins. The Lord Jesus Christ can allow you to be free while he takes the bad things in your life. And I want to tell all of you out there that Jesus cares about you, that you matter, that you are truly, truly, truly valued far above what you could ever imagine. And yeah, you are all special. You all have gifts and talents. You are all unique. And I feel that this is a time for all of you to discover who you really are on the inside out. And as you follow, follow the Lord Jesus Christ, you won't stumble. It says in, I think, the book of Romans, um, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. So when you trust in the Lord, you are not put to shame. He, in him, is no shame. So I believe that all of you are to be free in who you are, but be, but as you follow the Lord Jesus Christ, you will experience purity, holiness, peace, um, greatness away from junk of this world that tries to slip in and ruin our lives. And um, whether it's um, our responses 
to people hating us, our responses to sicknesses, our responses to anxieties, our responses to sorrows. So, yeah, um, I believe that's all I have for right now, but I honor all of you out there, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day before Easter. Ta-ta!